I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Rick Garcia. KKL 9 with an exclusive uh, a Van Nuys murder suspect on the afternoon. A lot of people are going to be planning on leaving work early so they can get away before the traffic backs up. Caltrans will start shutting down the on ramp. America said goodbye today to former First Lady Betty Ford. At her request, the funeral was held in the same church where she married her husband 63 years ago in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Cal 9 News. All right, woke up this morning, uh, had some tr drizzle in some parts of the Southland. I know I had some drizzle near my house. Mm -hmm. Ab, how about you? Yeah, well, you know, no drizzle at my house, but there was drizzle out there, and that was certainly the case earlier today, and it could be the case for the next couple of days as that marine layer starts to re-enter the picture. You'll see it right here, a gorgeous shot. Take a look at this. A look from our Malibu camera tonight uh, overlooking the Santa Monica Bay, and you'll see a little bit of fog already making its way into Southern California, and the sun just starting to set as well. Uh, you'll see right here on radar, we're still dealing with a bit of fog sitting offshore. It's eventually going to push its way inland into the overnight hours. It's going to thicken up, and we are expecting again a cool forecast and a cloudy forecast as we head into tomorrow. Temperature wise, this evening we're into the 50s, the 60s, so we're going to have those numbers for you, and we'll show you what you can expect as we head into the weekend. I will tell you now, major warm up on the way. Back to you. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Evelyn. It's the Harry Potter film fans hoped would never come, but they are like green. I yeah. just got a washer and dryer. Yeah, that's energy saving. Oh, nice. oh my gosh, Good for you. life changing. Really? Uh -oh. Very high technology. Ooh, that's life changing. <laughs> Truly? I was so wow. excited. Why? Why is it life changing? I don't know. It's just all these buttons and the, it was so computerized. Has your what? energy bill changed? I, I haven't gotten you don't any know yet. energy. You know, okay. no, I can't. I haven't gotten that yet, but it was okay. um, very expensive. You know, life changing because life all the buttons on it. Yeah, but but it could be life changing. You know. Yeah, and once. Once you really get that cool. bill and it saves energy, well, then, yeah. then that'll We're top all for it that, off. Sure. I couldn't wait to do my first load of laundry. <laughs> Maybe I'll weird? come over to your house and bring over my laundry because I'm not very bring excited about laundry, laundry anymore. Anyway. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, you people are bored. Yeah, well, I was doing laundry aren't today aren't and I'm pretty bored with my machine, so I'll yeah. just come over to your house. Yeah, right. it's yeah. life changing. Anyway, let's talk about the weather. It was uh, gloomy this morning. <laughs> it was kind of gloomy. It was gloomy yeah. and drizzly, uh -huh. and that's going to be the case over the next couple of weeks. Really? Yeah, so it's not really July weather. It's really not because actually temperatures are below average for this time of year. And again, we are keeping that drizzle in the forecast for the next couple of days in the morning hours. And then big changes on the way as we head into the afternoon. So or actually the weekend afternoon as well. We could see a little bit of sunshine finally cleared out a little bit today, but it took quite a while. We were sucked in for the majority of the day, even in the inland valleys as well. And you'll see right now a little bit of cloud cover out there and dealing with more on the way as we head into the overnight hours. So radar showing you a bit of cloud cover starting to approach the coast. We're going to see more over the next few hours. We're going to see temperatures dip down to the 60s overnight, currently into the 60s as well. So not a big change over night 65 in Encino 67 in Beverly Hills as we head over to Hacienda Heights 68 Covina 68 degrees and heading over to Montebello you're at 69 degrees San Gabriel at 68 Riverside currently into the 60s as well close to 70 in Fullerton you're currently at 67 degrees so earlier today we got up to 74 average is 84 so we were 10 degrees below average for this time of year and still keeping things below average over the next couple of days in fact cooling it down another degree as we head into tomorrow afternoon, topping out at about 73 degrees for downtown. So you'll see low pressure still dominating. So with that, we're still going to see the morning and overnight low cloud cover and fog. It's going to thicken up to the point where we could see that morning drizzle, but we are expecting a warm up on the way. And you'll see that in your five day forecast right here. Quick look at what we can expect once we head into the weekend. Big changes again, more sunshine and much warmer temperatures. About 30 degrees warmer in some spots, believe it or not, once we head into next week. So only into the 70s for the valleys tomorrow, gaining about 10 degrees on Saturday, 10 more on Sunday. So very sharp increase in temperatures. And then Monday and Tuesday, upper 90s and triple digits. Rick and Sherry, back to you. Large groups of muggles and squibs, <laughs> even some witches and wizards, are camped outside Southland theaters tonight. They're all waiting for Harry Potter's big screen finale, which hits theaters at midnight. KKL 9's Nicole Gonzalez is live in Chino Hills, where thousands of fans are counting the hours. We've been hearing about this for weeks now. We know about plans to divert traffic, but we also wanted to know exactly how they plan to tear out that bridge and why. High school students in the Crenshaw District are about to experience a major culture shock. They're traveling to China for the first time as part of an exchange program. KKL 9's Kirk Hawkins reports the students prepared themselves with lessons in Mandarin for the ultimate lesson in foreign yeah. culture. 